Yo, how's it going? Adam, Westside Mushies. Haven't done a video in a minute. I'm sure no one's waiting for them because no one's watching them, but whatever. I'm here. Um, yeah, just sitting around having a little uh, message with someone, another grower from interstate. So I'm in Adelaide, South Australia. Um, this is aimed at mostly Australian growers, but yeah, having another chat to, to a fellow interstate and just sort of reminded me of some of the stuff that I learnt at the start. Um, so yeah, this one's probably towards new people, like brand new people. And when you watch these videos online, like people that are like super tech savvy and people who are advanced growers, it's all about automation, automation. You gotta automate, you gotta automate, automate. Automate will make your life easy. Automate will make you not have to check the mushroom layer a thousand times a day. Automate will make you use less electricity, less water. Um, you know, obviously business-wise, when you're a business, automation makes a lot of sense. It's going to save you a lot of time. It's going to save you a lot of money. Um, my advice as a new person, fuck automation. Forget about it, all right? Don't be in a rush to set up your tent or your whatever with ink birds or sensors and this and that, that does all the job for you. If you do that, in my opinion, you're hampering your learning. You, you will rely on these contraptions before you even know what a humid room looks like or what a, what a dry room looks like or how temperature outside will affect the amount of work that your humidifier and your fans and stuff will do. Um, how different amounts of mushrooms in your room, you might have it set up perfectly for 10 kilos, all of a sudden you put 30 kilos in there and the whole thing's fucked. If you've never done trial and error and figured it out without a little computer, you just won't understand the relationship. You won't understand what's going on. This is my opinion. Some people might not agree. For me, from what I've seen, like, I'm still not fully automated, right? So I've been up to, I don't know, like 60, 70, 80 kilos a week. I should have been more, but I've had so much time off. I, just, look, I won't show you my house, but I mean, I've had a kid, like whatever. There's a million excuses. But enough to be busy, as a, as a one-man show. Busy, busy. Um, and I'm not fully automated, right? You don't have to be. If you are not a nerd and you don't understand um, technology and how to build these things... Don't get scared off starting. Just start. Now, I have some things I automate, but some I don't. Some things now that I'm busier, I'm definitely going to move towards it because I understand what the automation and what those things are doing for me. And if they break, I'll be able to just fake it until I get a replacement. I'm not going to be fucked in no man's land not knowing what is even going on in my room. So... Forget automation when you start. Now that's not to say you don't buy a good quality, something that measures the temperature, because you need to know what the temperature is, and something that measures the humidity. You need to know what the humidity is. If you want to get a CO2 monitor, if you made money, get one. I don't think you need one. Um, but if someone was going to give me one, I'd use it. Best CO2 monitor in the world is if your oysters are long as fuck and long and leggy, it means you need more oxygen. That's all you need to know. Um, so, yeah, get yourself a good, can be an all-in-one, whatever. These things cost 20 bucks, 50 bucks, definitely a hundred, less than 100. A good thing that will tell you what the humidity and the temperature is in your room. The rest of it, play around. Manually stop and start your fans. Buy a timer. One of those timers where you can cycle like a minute on, minute off, blah, blah, blah. You can change it down to the second. That's my advice. Buy that. Buy those monitors. And figure it out. Once you've figured it out, or once you've half figured it out, then automate. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Oh, it's fucking hot in here today.